Hey kids, today we're gonna to talk about something very important. We're gonna talk about the importance of transportation safety. Before we begin, what do you think when you hear the word transportation? What do you think when you hear the word safety? Today we have Buckle Up Bear and police officers to help teach us how to be safe. Come on, Come on kids, kids, let's, let's get, get safe. safe. Which option do you think is correct? Option one or option two? Now let's talk about high back booster seats. There are two types of high back booster seats. First of all, you have the five point harness, which is similar to this one. The second high back booster seat is the belt positioning booster seat. Hey mom, can I sit in the front seat? Hello, I'm Deputy Stotch. Do you realize as a kid, regardless of your age, the safest place to sit is in the back seat? Mm, no. All right, buckle up bears right. Now let's talk about the different types of booster seats that you have to sit in. First of all, you have a backless booster seat that's without this back and naturally, and uh, the next one is the high back booster seat. Do you know why you sit in a booster seat? Mm. The reason you sit in the booster seat, it raises you up off the seat. That way the seat belt fits correctly. Do you know the correct way to wear the seat belt? Did it? Put your seat belt on for us and let's demonstrate. All right. Correct way to wear that seat belt. Take your hand, touch that big strong bone over here, that collarbone right here. It needs to go across that collarbone, not near the neck, not towards the outside of the shoulder, but across that bone. Then across your chest, into your lap where you got these two, two strong hip bones right across there. Not across your stomach, not across the top of your legs, but on that, but on that hip bone. And you know why you why you wear your seat belt? It keeps you safe in the car, it keeps you in place in case something were to happen. Okay? All right. Always wear your seatbelt when you're in your car. Then you have a backless booster seat. Uh, it raises the child up, seatbelt goes across the collarbone and across the hip bones. Let me ask you a question. Is this the correct way to wear your safety belt? Mm, no. How about this way, up under your arms? No. Is that the correct way? No. Correct way is right across that bone, right across those hip bones. Okay. Which option do you think is safer? Option one or option two? Stop. Now we know riding bikes is fun, but it's always important that you wear your helmet. Why do you wear your helmet? It's to protect your face, to protect your head, and to protect your brain. And to protect your brain, absolutely. So in order to wear your helmet, you need to wear it correctly. Make sure it covers your head, does it slide back to the back. Make sure it's strapped in good. You always have your parent or your guardian to help you correctly put on your helmet and make sure it properly fits. A good rule is one finger test. Slide that one finger up under your chin in the strap to make sure it fits. So, but before you ride any bike, no matter how long you ride your bike, make sure your parent or guardian has your helmet fit, fitted properly and you're wearing it when you ride your bike. Okay guys? All right. Which one do you think is safer? Option one or option two? Speaking of being safe while riding your bike, what you wear can be very important. Not only your helmet, but the clothing you wear. If at all possible, wear reflective clothing in low light, dim, or dark areas, whether it be your clothes or your shoes. If that's not available, wear something white. This poster will indicate how important it is to wear reflective clothing so a driver could see you. Mommy, stop texting while you're driving. You're right. Texting while driving can be dangerous. I'll put my phone down until I'm done.
to our video on transportation safety. Always remember to sit in the back and in the correct booster seat. It is also important to remember the correct way to wear your seatbelt. Is your seatbelt resting on the bend between your neck and shoulder? Is your seatbelt going across your lap? If you forget, always remember our song and dance. Also, never let your friends or family text while driving. If they are, please say something and let them know that you only want them to be safe and that you love them. Also, while riding your bicycle, make sure you're always wearing your helmet and reflective gear if at all possible. Great job today, kids, and congratulations on finishing our safety course, and here is your certificate for completion.